When you travel, you need this. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Mythical beast, you have questions, and the only way to get those questions answered is to travel to Answer Island. So you pack your bags, set your email to auto reply, and hop aboard Rhett and Link Airlines for a nonstop flight. Takeoff goes smoothly until all of a sudden the captain turns on the fasten your seatbelt sign because the plane has hit a patch of rough turb. <laughs> <laughs> the, steel, the steel bird shimmies and shakes. You panic and begin to overshare all the weird things you've done throughout your life to the stranger seated next to you. Like mm. that one time you threw up weak old spaghetti in your dad's work boots and blamed it on your dog muffins. Hey. But then the plane steadies and you land safely. Do not make eye contact with the person next to you. You've made it to Answer Island. Now, it's time to kick back and enjoy a coconut water from an actual coconut and watch the Answer Sun set. The Answer Sun, oh, I love watching that. We asked you if you needed us to give you any travel advice and Jamie Nunnery replied, no thanks. Really? Oh, okay. Okay. I guess Jamie Nunnery doesn't need any advice because she's the greatest traveler in the world. Yeah, I bet when Jamie Nunnery drives a, to, <laughs> through a toll plaza, I bet they give her 75 cents. I bet that Jamie Nunnery always gets an extra packet of peanuts from the flight attendant without even asking. Yeah, I bet Jamie Nunnery never gets startled when she flushes an airplane toilet. Why is it so loud? It's, it's scary. It's like a jack-in-the-box, no I matter how well prepared you are. I know it's going to happen, but I'm like... I bet Jamie Nunnery has never bought an $8 bottle of smart water before going through security and then been two sips into it when two sips into it when the TSA guy says, you're gonna have to hand that over and then guzzled the whole thing right there in front of him. Yeah, I bet Jamie Nunnery has never once forgotten to pack her shaving cream and had to shave her face with cream cheese from the hotel's continental breakfast. Ooh. I bet that Jamie Nunnery has never taken a Greyhound bus from Duluth, Minnesota to Albuquerque, New Mexico while sitting next to Luther, who was trying to recruit her to his cheese cult, who also happened to have breath that smelled like a possum, had crawled into his throat and died. So here's to you, Jamie Nunnery. The, the greatest, greatest traveler, traveler in the, in the world. world. Oh, are we dinking <laughs> yeah. first? Let's dink, Link. Now let's ask, let's, let's read a question that someone asked because they want to know an answer. Yeah. <laughs> Who is this? Famiz Hameen <laughs> asks, what are some important travel equipments that you must have while traveling? Well, in order to know what the important travel equipments that you must have while traveling are, we have scoured the internet and put together another installment of Weird Products You Must Have Travel Edition. Okay, typically we, we only highlight one item, but you're in for a real treat this today, ain't typical. travelers. This ain't typical at all. Oh, nothing typical about these travel devices. We have two of them. First, I'm pleased to admit. <laughs> admit it, Link. Just admit I it. Just admit What's it. first, man? Just that admit it. we have a travel item. I'm pleased to present. Oh. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, well, you can admit it. I don't care. The Brondell Go Spa Travel Bidet. It's for all of those people who can't leave their bidets at home. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say bidets behind. <laughs> I should have said <laughs> that. that. was you. I, mean, I you, screwed up perfect the setup. whole thing. Can't leave your bidets behind. Well, you, they say you can't take your bidet with you, but but that's that's changed now. Um, it's, it's out of the box. Ooh, nice box. But, oh, Ooh, nice bag. Get out of there. Um, take clean wherever you go. Don't take that wherever you go. You just take this satchel. Ooh, pull that tight. Don't pull it too tight. Loosen this. Now, oh gosh, <laughs> it's the, a travel bidet? That's yeah. just like a water bottle with a spigot on it. Exactly. Um, I have not tested this thing out. Well, I was have saving you ever, that for you but guys. But have you ever actually bidet? No, because I'm not European. Right. But this may be my gateway drug to bideting, especially if it's bacon scented. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a squeeze. What, squ turn, turn it, don't. Well, it's got holes right there. Yeah, hold on, it's leaking. Your bidet's leaking. Is it? <laughs> There's a. Oh. <laughs> so what do you do? You go this this nope. way. Man, well, you well you put it next to your butt crack. Is what you, okay. Look, 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 look. Here's what you would do. Well, don't put it next if to your, your butt crack. If your butt crack was down there, this say this from is my butt crack right here, and I would go. Ooh yeah. <laughs> but then if I was like, you know what? I'm thirsty. 
<laughs> it's going into try. your. It's going into your mug. That's why. Try, try it. I'm gonna, try I'm it. Try to. Oh. Mm. How is that bidet water? It's very fresh. It is and, fresh. And uh, once it's empty, you just refill it in the airport bathroom, and no one's gonna give you a weird look. <laughs> look at that guy. That guy's got quite a nozzle on that bot water bottle. Okay, that's not the only product we have to admit. <laughs> <laughs> I admit that I have another product. <laughs> For the person who doesn't want to wear a bikini just on their body, it's the face kini. <laughs> okay, I, I see where you're going with this. Like you got one of those over there, don't you? Yeah. Apparently, this is all the rage in the Asian countries. The women don't like their face in the sun. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Yeah. It's doing some weird stuff with my lips and my <clears throat> beard here. My, my lips come right out of there perfectly. <laughs> Look at what's happening with Where are your lips, dude? <laughs> you can <laughs> kind of <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they have a, a vibrant Facebook page full of, I can't say Facebook page because of the way it's pulling on my face. But seriously, apparently. Where they're, they're selling these things. There are a lot website. of people who are really scared about their faces getting UV rays, and this is one way to stop it. <laughs> Become know, a luchador, but basically. You know, the other interesting thing about this is that if somebody came up and tried to attack you with a travel bidet, you just, <laughs> you just, <laughs> it, you, you didn't feel that, did you? Because it just hit the I face. Didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even know you it did just, it. It just hits the face. <laughs> okay. It just, Glaw, stop. It, it just hits the face, Keeney, see? Oh. <laughs> it, it, it always travels over before it hits you. So uh, uh. we've expanded it to not just be sun protection, but also rogue bidet protection. Yeah. Uh, the tip of my nose is gonna get sunburned. I just put the trap in your mouth. You don't need a nose hole. Yeah, and that's what you gotta do right there. <laughs> we should be a tag team. We, we could kick some butt. Oh yeah, we, or can... we could bidet some butt. We come out there. <laughs> 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 we can put the two together, and we, people we the bidet people of the by the pool no. with these on. We're wrestlers. We totally get and that, tips. And our signature move is we like stick it down there. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> we win everything. You can buy these. They're like what, sixteen bucks? Yeah. This has Just been that. weird, weird products, products. You, you must, must have. have travel edition. Okay, moving right along. A question from Brianna Hartman, who asks, "How should I pack the perfect suitcase?" Um, Brianna, that, that is a great question, and I have a theory when it comes to packing suitcases that you know you've done a great job of packing your suitcase when, uh, I can't see out of my glasses first, oh, of all, so okay. I'm trying to make it where I can see. You gotta clean a little bit. Where, there. if someone were to steal your suitcase and then open it up, they would know exactly where you were going and exactly what you were gonna do when you got there. Right, and so we have designed a game to play along those lines that we like to call for which place is that suitcase? Okay, this is how it works. We have each prepared a suitcase for the other. Yes. And there are, uh, we have never seen these things before, but nope. there are items in the suitcase. And you're supposed to be able to, we're supposed to be able to look at the items and guess where we're going and what we're doing when we get there. All right. Just by looking at the items of the suitcase, All okay? Right. Can, can I go first in guessing? You can, and here is your suitcase, Link. Oh. Look at that. It's kind of like a, a briefcase. It's kind of, you went nice. vintage. Yeah, it's a small suitcase. Okay, I'm not gonna be going anywhere for long. Mm. First, yep. how do I open Weekend this? trip. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna look at the items. I'm gonna guess where I'm going, what I'm gonna do okay. when I get there. All right. All right, first we've got, what's this? A floral arrangement necklace. That's what they call those, a floral All arrangement right, so, necklace. Um, I'm immediately thinking Hawaii, yeah. but I'm not. I'm not gonna guess until I've uh, gone through all the items. All right. Second one. It's a. It's a Harry Potter ball. Harry Potter ball. <laughs> exactly. That is the official uh, name. For a that. wicket. What's it called? Um, a snitch. A snitch. And this is the golden snitch, which is the, as we all know, it's the one that matters. Right. It's the one you want. Okay. So this has nothing to do with Hawaii. Next thing I got here, uh, garlic. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking more garlicky, like vampires. Oh, especially with. Ugh, I got a uh, some blood. Some blood. <laughs> that is my yeah. blood. Oh, this is your I'll blood. Need it, I'll need it back. That's a lot of it. That's a half a pint. Um, hmm. All right. So that's it. That's all I've got. Uh, I'm going somewhere tropical. This right here makes me think vampire. I'm going somewhere and I'm doing something. I'm going to Harry Potter World. What, what does this have to do with it? I'm going to a blood bank. Am I close? 
You were closer at one point. Harry Potter World? Hawaii. <laughs> I'm going to Hawaii. Uh, I'm going to a Harry Potter slash Twilight convention. That sounds fun. But <laughs> You know how those audiences really overlap. Yeah, yeah. You're actually going to Hawaii to play Quidditch with Dracula. And this is my peace offering? You give that to him as a gift, and, and then you I use keep this him to keep away, away and use this to play. Okay. It wasn't bad, though. All right, that was, was bad. I was almost there. All right, I got one for you, you too, Rhett. Uh, oh, you're really? Not, you're not coming with me on my trip to Hawaii, but rest assured, you're going somewhere amazing. Oh, there you go. Very sporty. <laughs> You're very sporty right, today, Link. See if you can figure this out. Hmm. Camel. Mm -hmm. Camels are in the desert, okay. in the Middle East, but you typically don't take a camel with you. But you may think that that's what you should do. Right, why get a souvenir there when you can take it with you? I got a t-shirt that says, it's bow time. <laughs> That's Bojangles, not a sponsor. One of my favorite restaurants in North Carolina. Fried chicken, so. Cajun fried chicken and biscuits. <clears throat> Do we have a here? Ouija board for communicating with the dead? Okay. You can get heart disease from eating at Bojangles. <laughs> Maybe they won't be a sponsor now. <laughs> 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 Whoops. What else we got okay, in there? Right? Let's see. And I've got. Sandwich? Got a snack. A peanut butter, bacon, and banana Elvis. Mmm, you're thinking this is Elvis. Elvis's huh? favorite sandwich. He actually liked mayonnaise on it. I don't see if there's any on that, but very Elvis. How would you know? Blue suede shoes. Uh oh, okay, okay. Wow. Those are nice. Like the budget of this show just went through the roof just to just for those. I am going to Bojangles. <laughs> To communicate with Elvis, I am going to a Bojangles in the Middle East. The first ever Bojangles in the Middle East. I'm gonna tell, I, I want you to get this one right, so I'm gonna give you a hint that, hold up the Bojangles thing. Like, th these are a unit. So you're right, you're communicating with Elvis on yeah. the other side, but there's, some, there's another combo here that you're missing. This and this. What did you say about this? Bojangles. Like, is where? The first ever Bojangles in. The I know that's your guess, but that's not right, so I'm giving you another hint. Bowie's Creek? Campbell University? Yeah! I'm going to Campbell University to communicate with Elvis. To communicate with Elvis? Yes! <laughs> you had it, baby! You're going back home! I'm sending you back oh, home. There's a man. Bojangles on campus, isn't there? Well, it's just Bojangles. No, there's not is, a Bojangles. Bojangles is back home, and the Fighting Camels a is the college on in our hometown. I thought you'd be excited about that. Going I to, am. Going I'll back to your hometown. I'll see you later. Yeah. Thanks oh, you're for going packing. right now? Yep. Oh, give me that bidet. <laughs> you taking that with you? I actually don't know where it is. Oh, I got it right here. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, take that with you. Thanks for liking, commenting, and sharing this video with your friends and subscribing. There's lots of things you can do, but do you know what time it is? Hey, I'm James Ford from Lenore City, Tennessee. Currently on vacation in South Carolina. It's time to spend the will of mythicality. The week of Christmas Christmasicality continues to roll on over at facebook.com slash Rhett and Link. It's not too late to get in on the fourth and the fifth challenge where you can win four or maybe five prizes in one. Click through the Good Myth Gamar. We're going to open your mail, including explore these awesome things. What amazing things. Woo, we got a winner, man. Congratulations to Good King Banana. You win a personalized GMF. Hey, Ray, you know what I heard? What? I heard that when Good King Banana eats chicken wings, he or she doesn't even get her hands dirty. You know what I heard? What? I heard that Good King Banana likes to eat the little weird part of the wing, too. Oh, for real? Yeah. The face skinny is tougher to wear than eat. The reason I'm wearing it and doing things is because I want to know if I'm going to be able to take this to a day at the beach and just be normal. <laughs> <laughs>